Hi everyone. Welcome to this demonstration on how to implement MITRE DEFEND to automate incident response to Technique 1053, Scheduled Task or Job Threats. Scheduled task and job threats, which make up MITRE ATT&CK Technique T1053, can have severe implications for an organization's security. MITRE also outlines how to address this technique in their DEFEND matrix. However, until now, security teams haven't had a consistent way of implementing DEFEND best practices. This video will explore how D3 can be utilized to implement MITRE DEFEND when addressing a scheduled task or job threat. We'll go through the various stages of MITRE DEFEND and demonstrate how playbooks can be designed to implement a consistent response to this attack. Scheduled task and job threats involve malicious activities executed through scheduled tasks, which can result in unauthorized access, data breaches, and disruptions to critical processes. In a study by MITRE Ingenuity that took place between April 2019 and July 2021, scheduled task and job threats was the most frequently observed technique, appearing in 24.1% of incidents. This scheduled job and task technique is also often used to enable other attack vectors, so shutting this threat down quickly prevents numerous other attacks. The MITRE DEFEND matrix has six stages, model, harden, detect, isolate, deceive, and evict. Each has different tasks that can be completed to address T1053. In this video, you'll see how SmartSore playbooks can turn DEFEND's recommendations into concrete, consistent workflows. In stage one, MITRE recommends compiling a list of all vulnerabilities on the device that triggered the alert. In SmartSore, various endpoint detection response tools can be used to run vulnerability scans on the affected device. For example, CrowdStrike users can initiate ad hoc scans and pull all the results into the playbook. These scans include malicious files and host metadata. Then you can run the get host vulnerabilities command. This compiles a list of all vulnerabilities associated with a specific host. The results include any affected applications, evaluation logic, remediation steps, and CVE IDs. Finally, you can use the search vulnerable hosts by CVE command to use the IDs found in the previous task and find other hosts that may be vulnerable on your network. Once this workflow is complete, you can move on to stage two. Once vulnerabilities and malicious files have been identified, identity and access management applications can be used to restrict a user's access to specific files. For example, Active Directory is used in this workflow to retrieve a list of groups and group details and then add users and devices to specific groups based on what access they need. This workflow creates a centralized, consistent, and structured approach to managing user and device access across multiple files and directories. In Stage 3, MITRE recommends various actions to verify T1053 threats. They include process spawn analysis, scheduled job analysis, and file analysis. Integration commands in SmartSore can easily be used to execute these various tasks. This workflow uses Trellix Endpoint Security, Okta, and Zscaler to compile all related information related to system tasks, user activity, and malicious files. The command get user activity logs from Okta provides insights into user actions, such as login attempts, application usage, and account modifications. These two commands from Trellix list all server tasks and get task details, creates a comprehensive list of all server tasks or processes running within the system. It provides an overview of active tasks, their statuses, and resources. Then specific tasks can be investigated further to understand their dependencies, execution details, and resource consumption. Zscaler's sandbox environment can be accessed directly through SmartSore to safely detonate suspicious files and retrieve the results for analysis. The sandbox reports provide detailed insights into the behavior, activities, and potential threats associated with the analyzed file. When suspicious processes, files, and applications are identified, SmartSore can automatically block and isolate these IOCs. Using scripts uploaded to Sentinel-1, SmartSore can forcefully terminate a running process on endpoints. This allows users to stop a process that may be malicious or unauthorized. With the block executable command, users can add a hash value associated with a file or software component to the block list in Sentinel-1. This prevents the execution or access of files with matching hash values. 
This workflow also uses Palo Alto Next Generation Firewall to block specific applications to prevent unauthorized usage or launch across the network. This helps reduce the risks associated with potentially compromised software. Stage five in the Defend framework is Deceive. Using two steps in a playbook, SmartSort can create a decoy file using user-generated input. Then it takes the file hash and adds it to Microsoft Defender for endpoints detection rules. Using this workflow, users can alert themselves when this file is accessed on a specific device. The final task is to remove malicious files or programs. Once the files have been analyzed and quarantined through stages three and four, they can be permanently removed. Commands like delete file by hash using Cisco secure endpoint accomplishes this easily. In this parent playbook, each modular workflow has been combined into one larger incident playbook. This modular design lets users drag and drop different workflows into different incident response playbooks depending on the needs of either the client, team, or threat. This is one example of how SOAR provides a unique opportunity for security teams to implement MITRE DEFEND best practices. By combining various commands and integrations, such as retrieving user activity logs, listing server tasks, blocking hashes and applications, and utilizing sandboxes, organizations can design a holistic approach to detect, isolate, and mitigate according to the MITRE DEFEND framework. The workflows outlined in this video provide a centralized and structured approach to managing access control, analyzing system tasks, and taking proactive actions to protect against scheduled tasks and job-related security incidents. Thank you for watching. Check out our channel for more videos like this.